guys how are you doing today i am constance and thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class in this lesson we're going to be talking about building our vocabulary and the word we are going to be using to build our vocabulary is the word luddite luddite l-u-d-d-i-t-e luddite all right and what is the meaning of luddite luddite is a person it's a noun first it's a noun and it is a person who is against new technology or way of working. A person who is against new technology or the way of working. A person who is against new technology or the way of working. That is the meaning of the word Luddite. And Luddite is a noun. Now we're going to go through some of the sentences that I have prepared so you can see how we can use the word Luddite, all right, to grasp it better in your writing or even in your understanding. All right, so Luddite, a person who is opposed, a person opposed to new technology or ways of working. So look at our first example here. A large number of Luddites, all right, this is plural. A large number of Luddites has been resisting progress in the factory. A large number of Luddites has been resisting progress in the factory. So they don't want to be working in the factory when they are getting new technology that they would have to learn how to use certain machines to probably to weave the wood or for whatever that new technology is going to bring to the company. They don't want that. They want to be there doing the physical work and getting their money and go home. All right. So let's look at number two. Don't call me a Luddite. Don't call me a Luddite, this person is saying. After all... I'm the, I'm the first one to suggest we start using computers in the company. So this person is saying, don't call me a Luddite, right? Because I'm one of the first person to, do, to suggest that we start using computers in the company. And you know some companies, even now, especially in the third world company, they third world countries sorry in the third world countries don't have computers um, to provide data right they don't have computers they're still using that big book that look like something in heaven right that big book and you have to sign your name and write your address inside of it they don't have a computer where they can always put in the data and retrieve it at a later date no still have to be writing stuff manually all right number three the bill tailored right the bill tailored not a tailor that fits your clothes but a bill that is written that is going coming into law so by parliament so the bill tailored has a luddite approach to science and heart the bill tailored has a luddite approach to science and heart so these people in parliament who has created this bill want these artists and scientists to continue working without having new technology to improve their way of working or to make life easier or make their job better all right so you know one time i think you just could go you go to the po um the passport office and you just take your fingerprint or even to the police station or for whatever reason you just take your fingerprint now that fingerprint is into a computer with your data with your demographic right and you they can always pull it up and know that you are the person or if something should happen to you where you're unable to speak they can pull it up and get some information about you or even when you go to the dentist all right so the bill tailored has a luddite approach to science and heart 
there are plenty of Luddite customers like Sam who will not embrace the new world of technology. There are plenty of Luddite customers like Sam who will not embrace the new world of technology. So imagine Sam might be of the what the baby boomers age or prior to the baby boomers age so they don't want their information to be placed into the compute into the computer right they just want to pay their cash and go about their business they don't want their demographic their name their address their age their telephone number their bank information or what of you in the computer they just want to pay you cash or get your services and go about their business so customers like sam who will not embrace all right who will not submit or commit to having that new technology all right or a new technology number five luddites of the early 1900s would prefer to set a blaze, set the place on fire, right? <laughs> Luddites of the early 1900s would prefer to set a blaze the wool and cotton industries <laughs> rather than learning to use machines. They will prefer to set the place on fire instead of using new machines instead of learning to use new machine they don't want these new machines taking over their position they don't want to learn anything about those new machine and in those 1900s era you have what lot of wool right wool and cotton was the the big price item where a lot of aristocrats wanted for their clothing for their bed linen, for their household use, their tablecloths and all that fancy stuff. They want that nice rich cotton with the which the slaves had to be using had to be um, picking in the fact in the fields, right? They had to be, be plowing the land, picking the cotton, sorting it out, shipping it to abroad so they can, so these factories can break it down and create whatever material they wanted so these workers in those in those in that era i should say these workers in that era would not want these machines to come and tell them nothing or take over their job or make their job easier instead they catch the place of fire right they burn it down burn down the old place so the more they have us in that's the more things change is the more things stay the same so now in this era you have people doing what they have in roadblocks or they might loot or even burn down set the place of fire set cars so these things are happening from way back when all right if you're against something or something is not going the way that you like it in your community or country what you these are some of the things that you do to demonstrate all right so look at this word luddite it's a noun and the meaning of it a person opposed to new technology or ways of working my name is constance please like subscribe and, sh and share and also hit the notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first to have it please take a key note of these sentences and learn to use the, the word Luddite in your writing, in your composition, in your short stories so you can get a good grade, so you can impress your teacher that you are doing better, you are improving your vocabulary. Alright, my name is Constance once again and I hope that you enjoy this class and I look forward to you joining me in my next class. But before I go, I want to thank Helen B., Salva, Naomi, Vincent, and 
there's somebody that I met the other day who subscribed to my channel. I don't remember her name so well. I thought I had it memorized, but no. Anyway, whoever you are, I thank you so much for supporting this channel. Please continue to do so. Please like, subscribe, and share so this channel can grow. All right, until my next class, I hope you join me then. Until then, bye-bye.